I'll start by opening a file that has an optimization model ready to go. In this file, I'll mention some of the key features to give you an idea of the optimization model. It's a production model, so we have profit numbers. We've got the decision variables on how many units to make. We've got upper limits on those, uh, those decision variables. We've also got some raw material usage rates, as well as the current raw usage, raw material usage, and a total limit on that raw material usage. We've also got the total profit, which is a sum product command, as seen here. And the glass usage, raw material usage, is a sum product command as well. Now, to actually solve our model, we'll ensure that we're in the Data tab, click on Solver. We'll be presented with this dialog box, which we have to fill in in order to solve the problem. The first step is to specify the objective. In this case, we would like to maximize cell B6. Then we specify the decision variables, in this case C2 and C3. Then we have to add the constraints on the problem. Click on the Add button. And first we specify that the two decision variables are less than or equal to their upper limits. If we click on the OK button here, we will see that the constraint has been added. The next step is to add the raw material constraint. This cell has to be less than or equal to its upper limit. Click on OK and that constraint has been added. Our next step is to make sure that the unconstrained variables are non-negative. This is the default, and we'll just ensure that it's selected. We also have to select Simplex LP, and then we're ready to solve the problem by clicking Solve. Solver will find a solution for us, and then we can hit OK, and find that our optimal solution is now in the spreadsheet.